Hi, and thanks so much for joining me for this Get Ready With Me featuring three favorite products from three more of my favorite brands. If you'd like to see that, please keep watching. This is a follow-up to the video where I talked about these products, but today we'll use them. We're featuring Sizzly, Charlotte Tilbury, and Dior. So let's go ahead and get started. I've just gone in, of course, with a little bit of the mattifying cream by Chantecai because I use this all the time. I just like it for the T-zone area. Although today my skin is dry, so I had to go in with a little bit of extra moisturizer. I think it's because I cleaned my face so many times yesterday for the skin tint video. That was filmed yesterday. Let's go in with the Blur Expert by Sizzly. This is better for me under foundation versus on top of foundation. It does have a little bit of like an olive hue on me. So you'll be able to see how it blurs though. So there is a difference. So it just perfects foundation. Does a nice job of neutralizing any of the redness though with the broken capillaries down there. Let's go in with another Sizzly product that I use all the time. This might be my number one Sizzly product. It's the eye concealer and there's so much in there. It just lasts for a long time. I'm going to take my sublimage brush. And if you haven't been here before this, whoops. If you haven't been here before, one of the reasons I love that one so much is that I don't have to powder it. So that is one of my favorite parts about it. So I'm going in with the Real Skin Plus by Chantecai, just on the lids. And I just do this to prime. So far we have two of the three Sizzly products. So the Blur Perfect as a primer of sorts and then the concealer. Okay, I'm gonna just go in with Clay de Peau Concealer. Now I don't have to use as much now because of the blur powder. As usual, a little bit of La Prairie Concealer. For foundation, I'm going to use the one of the Dior picks, so I'm going to use the Air Flash foundation. I have two shades, but I'll use 3W today. It's a little bit deeper than this 3WP, even though the shades on the exterior don't really match up. Here's the shade. I'm going to use my Shiseido brush. I'm just going to apply it to the center really lightly. That's interesting, I put the um, concealer underneath foundation, which is something I never do. I think um, because I feel like that blur powder really does such a nice job that I wonder if I could just skip foundation, but I did want to show you this to show you the finish because I think it's a really beautiful glow without being too greasy looking. So here's the glow of that foundation, really pretty. Of course, we need to bronze up here, but I'm gonna add my concealer now because I don't know, it was funny that I did that out of order. Okay, we're gonna set with the Charlotte Tilbury powders. I'm gonna take a bit of two and put that on my forehead. It's not totally gonna match, but we'll bronze that up. But it really does a nice job of setting. Actually, let's put that here today. Let's put that on the exterior to start, see how that looks. So I think since I'm a little bit more tan, I'm gonna go in with two here, just to deepen this up even more. Surprise that foundation so light on me right now. Let's go ahead and bronze right now and then we'll add eyebrows. So I'm gonna take the bronzer, the Sizzly bronzer, and then we're gonna see how to even this up. So I love this bronzer so much. And I have the Charlotte Tilbury brush. Start on the forehead because I feel like that's really where I need a a lot more bronzing. <laughs> then I'll go around the perimeter as well. So you can see how pretty that is. Just gonna go in with this Gucci pencil for eyebrows and then we'll use the next product. 
Okay, let's go in. Gosh, that, I think that bronzer is so pretty. And I know a lot of people who are different skin tones than me love this as well. Going in with the Dior Pump and Brow, and this is for a stronger hold as well as more volume. So you can see how they will go up kind of above the line so you can see the hairs, and that creates volume on me. They just look more full. I also love the shade on that. It's nice and cool. Okay, let's go in with eyes next. We've got the Dior palette. I have, actually, I have so many Dior palettes. This isn't even all of them. I have like twice as many as this. So I'll try to remember to link all the videos below, but, or maybe I'll make like a playlist of them because I have tried out a lot of them. <laughs> um, but I chose Soft Cashmere. I think it's one of the more neutral ones. I also have New Dress, which is warm but this is like a cooler neutral. So I'm gonna take this shade in the middle here and go all over the lid. Now these two are very shimmery, so I'm gonna kind of stay away from them, but I'm gonna focus on these three. So again, we've got this shade here. I'm gonna go underneath as well with the same shade. I'm just gonna take the same brush and just go underneath. Then I'm going to take this color here and I'll use that in the corner. So this one, we'll take that in the corner. Then I'm gonna take this deepest shade and I'm also going to build that into the corner here, a little bit further out. I'm gonna bring this in a little bit further. I'm gonna take this and just kind of blend that into the crease with all of those colors. Okay, and then I'm gonna take just a little bit of this shade right here. I'm going to put that in the corner. I'm going to take the deepest shade, this brown shade, and just put that in the furthest corner right here. I'm going to use Jasper right above the lash line, just about halfway to the outside, and then create just the slightest wing, not even a wing, it's like a wedge. I'm going to do the same thing to the side slide <laughs> side i'm gonna apply mascara tight line i'll be right back tight lined with violet damask and then also again chantai mascara let's go ahead with blush so charlotte tilbury is one of the reasons why i love to layer blushes because her blushes are set up like that so you have two shades in there so i'm gonna go ahead with the exterior color first and this is one of my favorite blushes I love the finish on this particular one. There are some more matte finishes, but this one has a glow about it that I think is just so pretty. It's got a beautiful warmth to it. So you can see the sheen there. And then I'm going to take this deeper shade and I'm going to add it right here. And I'm going pretty light handedly on the blush. So then that pop of color right there. And then I'm gonna blend it in. I'm gonna take more of the lighter shade and just blend. Really pretty glow. Same thing, the pop of color, and then more of the lighter shade and blend it in. Just cleaning off my buff and blur brush, I'm gonna go in with the this powder just because I just love the finish on the middle of my face right here. And I'll sweep around the edges as well. Okay, and then one of my favorite lip shades by Charlotte Tilbury is Glowing Gen. It's just got the perfect balance of cool and warm, and I love the finish. Quick recap of the products. 
For Sizzly, you know I love the under eye concealer. I use it all the time. It is my go-to under eye concealer and it has lasted for such a long time. So if you're thinking about it, I think the investment is worth it. For the powder that I used under foundation, what a great way to set a beautiful canvas to perfect foundation. I don't use it all the time because it is time consuming to put in that extra step, but when I do want things extra perfected, I will do that step first. And then for the bronzer, it is one of my all time favorite bronzers. I love this shade. I think it's just so pretty and radiant. There's just enough of a glow to it, but nothing shimmery or too sparkly in there. So I would call it more of a glow than even a shimmer. And then for Charlotte Tilbury, her pressed powder is one of the best pressed powders I've ever used. It's so finely milled. I just haven't used it in a while because I have so many other powders and you know how much I love a certain blur powder. So that is what my go-to is. But for Charlotte Tilbury, that's one of her standout products. You know I love to layer blushes and Charlotte Tilbury is the inspiration for that. If you've seen her blushes before, they all come in that format where you get two shades. So if you're interested in layering blushes and not sure what you want to pick, I'd look at her blushes because it's done for you. So you can test it out there and see if you like it, but her blushes are beautiful. And then this lip shade is again, one of my all time favorite shades. For Dior, the same applies to their quince, just like the blushes, just pick a shade and you can't go wrong. And then the foundation, I just wanted to show you, it has a beautiful skin-like glow even when it's dried down. So when I want a lightweight foundation, that was beautiful. And then the brow, I think for a stronger hold, when you want more volume, that one does an excellent job. So it has a very specific purpose for me, but it is still one of the best eyebrow products I've used. But that's it for today's video, so please take care of each other, stay well. If you enjoyed this video, if you learned something, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next time.